taking measures to prepare for earthquakes. And that, of course, always means to have water, food for several days in advance, just in case an emergency situation were to happen, you are prepared and have medical documents, anything that you're going to need uh, in case of an emergency. That's the very latest from Riverside. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. While soldiers in armored vehicles patrolled the streets, helicopters kept a watch from the skies over major cities in Bangladesh. In the last few days, peace has been ravaged as violent clashes between protesters and the security services across many cities in the country. The government has imposed a nationwide curfew, restricted movement and a shoot-to-kill order for those who disturb the peace. They're firing openly. Three of my fellow protesters are already dead. A bullet hit the head of another and I just brought him here. There are bloodstains on my hand. Why are my hands coloured with the blood of my brothers? Even as soldiers lay razor wire and give warnings, the defiance is still there. Protesters hold their ground and are unwilling to relent. There is no scope of retreat unless it involves the stopping of harassment. Look, there are many martyrs. Many were killed. People are being killed like birds. People are killed after torture. They are killed with sponsorship by the government as they took part in our quota reform movement. So the state should take the responsibility. The students are protesting the discriminatory 30% quota in government jobs to be reserved for families of those who fought in the country's independence. Almost a fifth of the population is unemployed and the coveted government jobs are in high demand. The violent clashes has led to the death of over 130 people, while thousands have been injured, some critical. Schools and colleges have been shut and roads and highways blocked, crippling much of the nation. So far, these have been the biggest challenge to Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's rule since she won her fourth term this year in an election that was boycotted by the opposition. In a ruling on Sunday, the Supreme Court scaled back the reservations, which may help restore some peace and normalcy. Never Lazarus, Sky News. Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 and it reads the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence first and foremost I want to give all praise honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of great millstone the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the bible peace blessings and safety to all you sincere Akims, keep pushing keep believing keep their faith regardless of people here for a bit uproars of the people in the world remember that earthquakes in diverse places 
Remember that? Second Ezra is the ninth chapter starting at the top. We're supposed to be measuring the time. This is what we're supposed to be paying attention to, Israel. And this is which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is coming to Babylon the Great. All this anarchy, all this chaos, all this mayhem, guess what? It's coming to Babylon the Great. And before it happened, we tell you that it's going to happen according to the Bible. And you ain't got to believe it. That's right. That's why I go pursuing to Amos. I'm thinking the sixth chapter. It says, Woe to them that are at ease in, in Zion, right? Woe to them that are ease. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. Bear with me. I'm multitasking. Bear with me. Amos chapter 6, verse 1, and it reads, Woe to them, destruction unto them that are at ease in Zion. Zion represents you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You go into the definition for the word ease, it's like you're comfortable. Laxy daisy. You, you pretty much ain't worried about nothing. So for all you Israelites out there that ain't worried about nothing, woe unto you. Destruction unto you. This is what the Bible is saying, right? Woe to them that are at ease. In Zion, they, they truly just sitting back lazy, lazy dasical. You see? Ain't thinking about nothing. They're, not, they're basically, no matter what, what they see going on, they're trying to ignore it. They're trying to ignore all this chaos, the shit hitting the fan, and our people are really trying to ignore what's going on. So the Lord said, woe to them that are ease in Zion, destruction to them that are ease in Zion, and trust in the mountain of Samaria. You trust in the government. You trust in the American government. Yo. Can't you see it's circling the drain? You see? What's your name? Chief of the nations. Letting you know it's talking about Babylon the Great. Letting you know it's talking about America. You see? You Israelites over here in Babylon the Great. You're at ease, and the Lord said destruction. I said, ain't anything about seeking the Lord. Ain't that, I don't think you think about your job. You're, you're going to lose your job soon come. You're, you're not going to have that job soon come, Israel, right? And, and in order for you to keep that job, you're going to have to um, have an implantable device inserted inside of you to keep that job, to receive money. But everything's a joke, though, right? All oh, hell break loose. Shit burning, you know what I'm saying? People getting deleted by the second shit, shit, it, wars, rumors of wars everywhere. But these niches act like they ain't nothing going on. You see, only thing they worry about is they damn hair, you know what I'm saying, and trucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, come a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Quavo and Megan Thee Stallion, all at the damn um, so called president, um, little, little gathering or whatever, um, so called uh, trying to be elected to be the president, come a lot, you know what I'm saying? Trucking. Just tricking and talking about nothing, man. When all hell break loose. Which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. So it was brought over here on cargo slave ships. And, 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 and look at our people. And they fell in love with the slave master. While, while all hell is breaking loose throughout the four corners of the earth. And it's going to be mainly here. Let's get this again. Before things happen, we tell you of it, right? Jeremiah 28. So, so you remember the Lord said, be occupied in prophecy. See, this is what it means to be occupied in prophecy, right? Jeremiah 20 and 8. The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied. Told you what was going to happen before it even happened, regardless if you believe it or not. You see? What did this mean, brother? What did this mean, brother? What did this mean, brother? We're here to prophesy. We're moving on. Look, look, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil. Meaning bad times and of peasants. That's all you see going throughout the four corners of that's all you see, man. From state to state, from city to city, from country to country, all, all over the damn place. All you see is shit, shit just going down. Uh -huh. Lord Yahweh, wish I told us this was how it's gonna be. Lord Yahweh, wish I told us this was gonna he's he's the one that's bringing it. The Lord is the one actually controlling everything. Let's get this. St. Matthew chapter 10. Let's get it. St. Matthew chapter 10. Bear with me. Just bear with me. Okay. St. Matthew chapter 10. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. And it reads, think not that I am come to say, let's click on it. Let's click on it. It's high time to wake out of sleep, Israel. Salvation is nearer than when we believe. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. And it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. The Lord, like, yo, stop thinking that I'm. Remember, woe to them that are at ease in Zion. The Lord, like, I'm not bringing peace, man. 
What, what part of this are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans not understanding? I'm not bringing peace. And it says a prudent man foresees the even hide of himself, but the simple pass on and are plenty. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. The Lord just told you what he's bringing. War, evils, pestilence, anarchy. You see, uproars of the people. You see? Just, just protests everywhere, violence everywhere. People are tired, man. People are fed up. Taxes are high as hell. People, nobody can't afford. What did you think, people? What did you think eventually is gonna happen? You can't afford food. You can't afford to pay your rent. You can't afford nothing. But it, but but your so-called leaders are rich as hell. Everybody poor. Everybody broke except for your leaders. And bear with me. Bear with me.